I have spent the last 15 years binging content that I know will help make me a better person. And a lot of that has to do with, for whatever reason, from a very young age, like middle schoolish, I've just always had people come to me and, and ask me questions with like, you know, they, they have challenges in life and stuff that kind of hurdles they can't get over. And I kind of have always been fascinated with like what drives a person and, you know, like how, what's the best way to help everybody. So this video is literally the start of a new life for everyone. This video is what should be taught to people in school, starting from like kindergarten all the way through grade school. This way, by the time you're like graduated and, you know, you're like in the big world and you're officially an adult, so like you understand what to do when you hit those points in your life where you're bored or, you know, you're not getting the results that you want or you're just finding yourself uninterested with things in life and you don't really know what to do with yourself. This video is going to be the very first video of what I'm calling a masterclass or a boot camp or whatever you want to call it. But basically, I have a stream team on Twitch. I'd like to turn that into just a content creation team. So whether you're a YouTuber, a streamer on any of the platforms, whatever it might be, I'll leave a link in the description below for my team discord. This video is meant to help you find your value, to basically help you discover what your purpose would be if you don't know what your purpose is. It doesn't matter what it is that you want to do in life or if you know what you want to do yet, this video is going to help you figure that out and then become magnetic about it so that when you're, you know, on your journey and you're doing things that you need to be doing to accomplish the goals that you want to be having, you're having better results and you're going to have people caring more about either helping you or just interested in what you have to say or just you as a person. This video is going to help you stand out. It's going to make the difference between you being like either a top content creator or, you know, one of the, any one of the millions that are just kind of lost in the sea and struggling to get to the top. I'm going to propose a bunch of questions to you guys. And depending on the kind of person that you are, some of them are going to be fine and other ones are going to sound a little rough to you. But regardless, they're meant to help you figure out what it is that you're passionate about, what your purpose is, and kind of get you excited. There, This whole video is meant to get you on track so that whatever it is that you're doing in life, you're going to be more successful at it. What you absolutely need to do, what I have done and what I'll share with you in, later in this video, but what you absolutely need to do is you need to make a list. Literally with pen and paper, you need to write these things down. So as I ask these questions, if you have anything come to mind, write this stuff down on pen and paper. You need to have this list to be able to look at it for at least five seconds in the morning, five seconds at night. Just every day you need to be looking at this list. And I promise you, it's going to slowly rewire your brain to the point where you're beating yourself up less, you're more focused on results, and it's going to start getting you those results that you're looking for. As you make this list, understand that there are no right or wrong answers. You can put down whatever you want on this list. It is absolutely unique to you. Question number one, what makes you lose track of time? What is it that you do that you like just start doing and then you look at the clock and you're like, oh my God, three, four, five, six hours have passed and you didn't realize that you were like so engaged in whatever it is that you were doing. Next question, what would you do if you had all the money in the world? Really think about this one. Like you don't have to worry about anything related to money. Something breaks, you can afford to fix it. Somebody gets sick, you can afford the doctor. You can afford the surgery, whatever it might be. You want to go on vacation? You're not limited. You can go wherever it is that you want to go in this world. What would you do if you had all the approval in the world? Like if you didn't have to worry about what anybody thought of you. Everybody already loves you. Doesn't matter what you do or what you want to do. Everybody's got your back. What would you do then? What sort of activities do you spend money on? Do you go out to bars and clubs a lot? Do you buy a lot of video games? Do you like sporting events? Do you have any hobbies like building rockets or putting together Lego sets? What do you love? Like what excites you? What is it in your life that just really gets you going? Like what makes you really happy? What makes your heart race? What is it that you do that your body starts responding in a way where your heart starts beating really fast because you're really into it, you're really engaged? What area of your life do you fear judgment? Like, is there anything that you do in life that maybe you have your own little hobby, but you hide it from people because you're afraid of what they might think? Incoming morbid question, what would you do if your parents passed away? Like, you've already gone through the grieving, and you realize now that there's no judgment from them that can be placed on you anymore. You literally can do whatever it is that you want without the fear of them thinking any different of you. Final question, what would you do if nobody knew you or expected anything from you? What would you do with yourself? 
When I made my first list years ago, it had things on it like diet and exercise because I was a fat kid. Um, I was really interested in parkour and gymnastics, but I was too fat to be doing gymnastics. I had dating on that list, so I wanted to be better at dating. I just wanted to have better success when I was going out. And I had put piano on that list. That was another thing I was interested in, was just learning how to play piano. When I made my list and I started looking at it every single day, what I did was I, I started looking at the things that were like kind of connected to each other, like, you know, diet, exercise, gymnastics, parkour. So what I did was I started going on the internet and I started just watching videos about the things that I was interested in. And I realized that like, wow, a lot of these gymnasts are doing really crazy things and I'd never be able to do that. So I, I kind of got the idea. I was like, I should probably just look up beginner stuff because after making the list, I kind of realized it's like, well, why can't I do this? Like, why can't I change myself and be able to do this? So I started looking up like beginner things on gymnastics and I started incorporating those beginner things into my exercises. And then fast forward two months later into doing this, like just exercising every day. And when I exercised every day, I didn't put more than like five, 10 minutes a day in. Like I was... I was really chubby. I was out of breath, but like anything is better than nothing. I need you guys to understand that it doesn't matter. Like whatever you put on your list, you want to be like looking into it. You want to be researching it. You want to be just learning more about it because you care, right? It's something you put on your list. It doesn't, th there's no time frame that you have to spend on this list, whether it's five seconds a day, five minutes a day, five hours a day. There's no wrong answer. Anything you do to progress you as a person is better than nothing. Fast forward two months into this like exercise routine that I got myself in and I finally felt like, okay, I might actually be able to handle the gymnastics class. So I signed up and then boom, I just kind of got into gymnastics. Two years into taking a gymnastics class, I went from being a fat kid to just being a semi-fat kid, but now I could do like round offs and front and back tucks and like aerials and I'm doing like all these things that like I just never would have thought or imagined that I'd be able to do and it literally all started with me just making a list. What did all that do for me and what is all this going to do for you? It's going to make you more interesting. It's going to make it like when you're talking to somebody, you're going to be more passionate about what it is that you're talking about because not only are you now aware of your interests, you're researching them, you're studying them, they're they're now on the forefront of your mind. So when you talk with people, you have all this information and you're excited about it. And the honest to God truth is it doesn't matter what it is that you're interested in. If you're interested in it, people will be interested to hear you talk about it. So like if I wanted to sit here and talk about rocks for like 20 minutes and I was mad excited about rocks, people are going to sit down and listen to me talk about rocks. It's not going to be everybody's going to care about them, but the way that it's coming out is what's going to attract people to want to stick around and listen. So if you're a content creator or you're a streamer and you're interesting, you're going to keep your audience's attention a lot longer. If you're just a regular dude and you don't want to be a content creator, but you're excited about stuff as a regular dude, when you bump into people in the street, you're going to be holding their attention a lot more often. You're going to get better results out of life. People are going to care more about you and what you have to say because your excitement alone, regardless of what it's about, is valuable. And people feel that. And a lot of people also feel that they haven't watched this video. They're not doing these things. They're not on the point in their life where they have all this interesting, and exciting stuff that's always, you know, just kind of coming up for them as well. So they'll see you being all excited and they'll like a part of them will be like, whatever that guy's doing, I want that. Whatever that girl's doing, I want that. You know, like you're going to attract a lot of people just being excited about what it is that you care about. If any of you have already started writing things down on your list, leave them in the comments to kind of inspire other people, give them ideas as to what they might be able to put down on their list as well. One of the most important takeaways I've gotten out of doing this for years, just binging this kind of content and like just wanting to be a better person is that discipline is greater than motivation. A lot of people think that like, yo, I'll just, you know, I'm not motivated to do something. You think every successful person that's ever done something with their life has been motivated to go through all the crap that they've had to go through to become that successful? Like, it's not easy and you're not supposed to be motivated. You're supposed to be disciplined. You just wake up and do it. It doesn't matter if you want to do it or you don't want to do it. That's going to get you a lot further in life than waiting for that magic moment where you have the motivation to do it. Another thing you guys should understand is that before you're great at anything, you got to be good. Before you're good at anything, you got to be bad. And before you're bad, you have to try. So... I'm sure a lot of you are afraid to start doing something or maybe try something new because you're afraid of like, oh, well, I'm going to suck at it or I couldn't possibly be any good at it. I was a fat kid that cared about gymnastics and now I could do that stuff. 
you gotta stop putting all this weight on being afraid to do stuff. Of course you're gonna suck when you do something new. That's how it works. That's a, you're not just perfect at stuff. You gotta fail, you gotta learn from failing, and you gotta make the adjustments as you go along to get better. So in summary, write down on a piece of paper a list of everything that you're interested in. It doesn't matter what it is, the list is unique to you, there are no right or wrong answers. You need to look at this list for at least five seconds every morning, at least five seconds every night. Do this for at least 30 days. If you do it for 90, you're going to really start to soar. But just do the list. Do the list, whatever it is. Over time, little by little, you're going to become more and more magnetic. You're going to grow as a person. You're going to become more interesting. You're going to become more magnetic to people. And you're going to start attracting better people into your life that are better for you. If you guys found this video helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. If you have any questions, you can find me on Twitch. I'm live just about every single day. All the years of binging content on how to be successful, how to build a brand, how to grow a business, how to be a content creator, how to be a YouTuber streamer, all that sort of stuff. All the years of doing that have kind of pulled me into the position where I've become a content coach. If you guys are a content creator on Twitch, I currently have a stream team of people that I'm looking to grow, that are people that are coachable, that are willing to learn, that are willing to work with other people. If you feel that your content and you fit that kind of criteria, feel free to join the Oasis Discord. If you're a YouTuber uh, building a business, a brand, feel free to join the Oasis Discord that I have. It's meant literally for everybody and I want to be able to make content that kind of fits everybody's needs in a sense where I'm helping you whatever it is that your content is that you're making. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and know there's going to be a lot more on the way that are going to help you get better at being a content creator, building your business, building your brand, whatever it is that you're looking to do. Absolutely love your faces. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.